Now I'm back in my favourite place, which is my grow your own area, which is currently jam packed full of veg that's nearly ready to be harvested. And after a long and very warm growing season, today I want to show you just how easy it is to grow one of my favourites, carrots which I have got plenty of them growing behind. I've also got some that are a little bit more advanced that I put in as young plants and others I did as seed, so there's a bit more successional cropping. But when we think of carrots, we immediately conjure up the image of a crunchy orange vegetable. Whether they're roasted up with a joint of meat on a sundae or baked into a shepherd's pie or just boiled with a knob of butter, you can't go wrong with a carrot. So here's how you can grow your own. Carrots are full of goodness. Just one single carrot provides more than a day's worth of vitamin A, which is essential for eye health. And they're also a great source of fiber as well. When you get to the garden center, you will find that varieties are defined either as earlies or main crops, depending on the maturity of the time frame, and also as short medium or long according to their root length. Main crop varieties take longer to grow but they are better suited for storage over the winter so many people start with earlies in spring and then switch to main crops. When choosing your patch remember that carrots like it sunny but they can handle a little bit of shade if started in the summer. Sandy, well-drained loamy soil is best because heavy soil can slow down the development and make them rough and ugly. Clear the ground of stones and any large pieces of bark because rocky soil results in low quality roots. Next, till the area so it's soft and it aerates the ground in which it makes it easier for carrots to grow long and straight. Applying some fertilizer will help too. A little layer of bone meal a couple of weeks before planting is just a trick. They are one of the easiest plants around and they'll grow almost anywhere. Small gardens, flower beds, containers or even grow bags, especially the short rooted varieties. Plant three to five centimetres apart and 1.5 centimetres deep and keep the rows about 30 centimetres apart. When the foliage reaches about 10 centimetres tall, thin them out to about five centimetres. In terms of aftercare, well, carrots are great, they're really tough. They don't demand a lot of watering, but they do need a regular supply. It takes a serious drought to hurt them as well, but if the foliage does start to wilt, especially in these dry spells, water every 10 to 14 days. A common problem when growing carrots is carrot fly. Preventing this pest is the best way because it's nearly impossible to get rid of them once they're around. When handling or weeding, try to avoid crushing the carrot's foliage as the scent can attract carrot fly. I recommend thinning them out in the evenings as these pests are less likely to be active and around at night. Just make sure you eat a carrot or two beforehand so you can see better whilst working in the dark. Another way to deter pests is by companion planting with a strong smelling plants like onions, leeks and alliums to discourage the carrot fly from the vicinity. Similarly, you can follow a crop rotation cycle so you don't plant the same carrots in the same spot the following year. Plant them in a place where potatoes, tomatoes or aubergines were the year before, which will help stop any pupa that may have overwintered by hatching and feeding on your crops. Then the following year, legumes will be planted where the carrots and root veg was because they prefer loose soil, which can be achieved by growing the root veg. When harvest time comes, check the size of your carrots by gently removing some dirt from around the top of the root. You can harvest quite early to get baby carrots if you like, or you can leave them until they get much bigger. Try your hand at growing carrots with different coloured roots to add something new to your vegetable garden. With the right care, you can have crunchy roots to snack on throughout the summer and autumn, and even store them for the winter, which is perfect for those cosy roast dinners. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share. And for more great videos like this, please subscribe. And let me know your experience of growing carrots or root crops in the comments below. And for more great information, all for free, visit my website, daviddominey.com.